Even though the United States and French aircraft carriers are nuclear-powered, they must still must take on aviation fuel, along with weapons and ammunition, along with food, spare parts, etc. This is accomplished by having the aircraft carrier match the speed and heading of the supply vessel, usually between 12-16 knots, as they sail in parallel paths with only a small distance between the ships, usually about 30 yards. If you look closely between the two ships, you can see black fuel lines extending between them, along with pallets of supplies being transferred. This is a highly coordinated and dangerous task, taking very skilled helmsmen and crew on both vessels to prevent collisions and accidents, and facilitate safe and timely transfer of fuel, ordnance, and supplies. A nuclear-powered aircraft carrier can technically travel indefinitely, but is limited by food and provisions for the 5,000 crew and the air wing. What do you think?